My job as a team leader with Samaritan's Purse is multifaceted. We arrive on scene and we create a relationship with the homeowner. And that's our primary base of concern. So the house behind us is owned by a lady named Jill. And right away we just want to establish a, a working relationship with just that emotional care relationship as well. So it involves getting to know each other in a very short period of time, but building a trust out of a faith-based relationship. Even if the, the homeowner or the person that we're working with isn't a Christian, we introduce ourselves as an organization that is here in the name of Jesus. And that opens up not only a door, but it opens up a gateway to establishing peace for that person that has just experienced chaos and disaster. We have a team of assessors that go out. And this is a step that people get exposure to Samaritan's Purse, and they get one-on-one -on -one consultation of what exactly we do in disaster relief. Now the assessment process is so pivotal to establishing what work needs to be done. So we have about 20 volunteers in this particular house on the main level and on the basement. The work is extremely dynamic from taking out mud from the basement, from taking out water to removing the air ducts and all the drywall that's been compromised by the rise flood waters. After we take out all the work that has to be decontaminated. We go in with a cleanup crew that just makes sure that everything is ready and then we'll go and desanitize using shockwave solution to just clean out the house and keep that relationship with Jill constant throughout the day. So we have a volunteer that's been shadowing Jill, talking to her as things go on, ensuring that she eats and gets water and it makes my job a lot easier when there's volunteers that are not only capable of doing the work but are ready emotionally to stand beside people that need that support, to take 10 minutes away from lifting heavy things and just realizing that this is an opportunity to share Jesus' love. Keep giving the Samaritan's Purse, you can't outgive God. May God bless you in your endeavors and we appreciate everything that you're doing and pray. Pray for us, pray for the people that have been affected because those will be answered far more than anything else that we're doing.